Good evening. It's time once again for the Barry Bird Show. Oh, yeah! Tonight, Senior Talk, and Barry scores yet another interview with God. So take it away, Barry. Wow, it's good to see all you groovy people. And I think you're really going to be blown away by the bombshell that Virgil Fuss unearthed. And yes, I'm going to rap with God. But first, we have to go to a station break. You're watching The Barry Bird Show on QBBS TV, Channel 8, from Toaster City, Nevada, the colorful station. Okay, we're back, and now you all know where we are. Just in case you weren't sure, hi -yo! As I said before, Virgil Fuss is about to do a big reveal on The Barry Bird Show. So take it away, Virgil. That's Mr. Fuss to you, pal. Now, as some of you may remember, there was this crooked, mob-connected union boss named Jimmy Hoffa. Well, one day in 1975, he went out to dinner with some of his goombas, and he vanished off the radar. The authorities searched for him along with the fake news media, but turned up nothing. Even the FBI boys couldn't flush him out. And the case went cold. Until now. Wow, this is happening, TV. Don't interrupt me, Mr. Bird. Anyway, yesterday I was out antiquing when I stumbled upon a cache of old photos in a cigar box. And there it was. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that incriminating photograph. Now, I'm going to share my information with all of you and blow the lid off this 90-year-old mystery once and for all. Awesomeness. But first, I need to phone in a prescription refill before I forget. This should only take a couple of minutes. Then the big reveal. Uh, let's see. Four, four, seven, two. Uh, okay. Hello. You've reached the 24-hour pharmacy at Wrong Way Stores. Hello. This is Virgil Fuss, and I want to... To refill a prescription, press one. For store hours, press 2. To speak to a pharmacist, press. Wait a minute. I want to talk to the pharmacist because I got to refill my prescription of fluxomycin PM 600 milligram. Hello. You've reached the 24 hour pharmacy at Wrong Way Stores. To refill a prescription, press 1. For store hours, press 2. To speak to a pharmacist, no, wait! I want to speak to the pharmacist! I don't want to press to. <laughs> this is Virgil Fuss, and I demand to speak to. The wrong way store, store hours are Monday through Saturday, Saturday 10, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're, we're closed on Sunday, Sunday for your convenience. No, no! I want to. Okay, okay. main menu. Hello, you've reached the 24 hour pharmacy at Wrong Way Stores. No, no, no! Now put me through to the pharmacy right now! I'm a taxpayer, and I demand to speak to someone in charge. To refill a prescription, press 1. For store hours, press 2. To speak to a pharmacist, press I've got a dial phone. I, I can't press 1. What's wrong with you people? Hello. You've reached the 24-hour pharmacy at Wrong Way Stores. <laughs> that does it. You'll be hearing from my lawyer, you bunch of... What's that? It's... Oh. oh. Okay, right. Oh, we're on? Oh, well, folks, looks like we're having a little trouble with Virgil's feed. So now we're going to cut to our exclusive second interview with God. When we get a better connection, we'll go back to our earth-shaking Virgil Fuss segment. Uh, hello? Hello, God? Are you at home? This is Barry Bird again. Uh, we had an appointment? <laughs> Hello? Hello, God? Wow, I hope I didn't get the wrong day. I could have sworn it was today. Hiya, Barry. Nope, you didn't get the day wrong. It just took me a while to fly up here. Wait, where's that voice coming from? Here, Barry. Right in front of you. It's me, God. But you were a rabbit last time. What gives? Barry, as God, I can appear in any form I feel like. So today you decided to be a bug? Yeah. I feel like being a bug today. Is that a problem? No, no, sir. You're the boss. Whatever you say goes. And this time, I'm not a sir. 
I'm a ladybug. A thousand pardons, oh great one. Eh, don't sweat it, Bear. I forgive you. Phew, that's a load off my mind. Barry, I know you didn't come here to admire my house, even though it is pretty sweet, so I'm guessing you have some questions. Actually, your house is pretty boss. And of course, you're right, I'm here to pick your brain again. Then pick away, sir. Oh, this is great. Thanks a million. Okay, here goes. So, did you ever start a project, but then drop it because you knew it wouldn't work? Um, maybe you could give me an example? Oh, sure. Like when the Ford Motor Company released the Edsel back in 1958, and that car totally bombed. Um. Oh, Barry, I've tried to forget about that mess. Yeah, it was me that put the idea for the Edsel in the minds of the engineers at Ford. Whoops, I didn't mean to be a bring down. Nah, I goofed. I really didn't think the design looked that much different than any of the other Fenmobiles that were driving around in those days. Boy, was I wrong. Edsel was my first and last foray into auto design. Well, they are really collectible now because they're so weird. Uh, Barry, that doesn't make me feel any better. Whoops. Okay, insert foot in mouth. No, Bear, don't do that. It's okay, it really is. Well, all right. So, what are some other experiments you've attempted? Experiments? Hmm, let's see. Oh, yeah, this one I tried back in the 1920s. The yellow tufted lead belly was a bird that was supposed to be able to fly in really high winds. But instead, it kept crashing through the roofs of people's houses. Too much liability, so that ended that. You mean people tried to sue you? Yeah, can you believe it? I create the universe, and just because a 150-pound bird comes crashing through their roof, they get upset. Sheesh, that's some thanks I get for making everyone's existence possible. In the end, it was just easier to dump the lead bird project and move on. Gee, God, if this is uncomfortable, just let me know and I'll stop the questions. Not nah, Barry, it's cool. I actually thought of a couple more that I'll share with you, but then I gotta buzz off. Fantastic, whenever you're ready. Okay, first was the monocat. Yeah, major stability problems there. I don't know what I was thinking. Wow. Then, duh, I realized that four legs would work better than one. Live and learn, Barry, live and learn. <laughs> I hear you. Then going way back, I tried the Wagasaurus. Nice animal, but directionally challenged. So I canned that concept too. Although I did eventually use half of that design to come up with the common canine. And that's about it. Well, God, people do like their dogs. Yeah, that one worked out pretty well, I think. God, this has really been cool. Thank you so much for your valuable time. I know you have a lot going on. Barry, you're not wrong. Well, gotta go. Catch you on the flip side. Good night, O oh. creator of the universe. I look forward to rapping with you again. And buenas noches to all my peeps out there in Toaster City. We hope you enjoyed your evening with Barry Bird. Please tune in again next week. We have a wonderful show lined up for you. Thanks for tuning in, and good night, everybody. So, folks, the next time a bug gets in your way, don't swat it. You never know. It might be someone important. Good night. Hello. Is this the manager? Sorry. The prescription you ordered is not available for refill. Would you like us to contact your doctor? If so, press 4. No!